station on space to ground. Houston, we have a beam. Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Dan Hewitt. History was made over the weekend with the successful deployment of the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module. Called BEAM for short, the module is the first human-rated expandable structure to ever be deployed in space. Jeff Williams slowly but surely put air into the habitat from station over about seven hours with help from NASA and Bigelow Aerospace Engineers in Houston. With the successful pressurization and leak checks well underway, Williams will once again make history when he enters BEAM for the first time on June 6th. Another flock of doves took flight from the station this week. These doves, designed, built, and operated by Planet Labs, Inc., are CubeSats taking images of the Earth from space. 16 more satellites join the fleet currently orbiting the planet. Revisiting populated areas more than any existing satellites, the images they take are being used for everything from monitoring deforestation and urbanization to improving natural disaster relief and crop yields in developing countries. A special guest got some FaceTime with the station crew this week. Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg talked with the Expedition 47 crew in a live event. What is your, your favorite, or what do you find to be the most interesting uh, piece of technology involved in getting to space and operating the space station and, and all of what you guys do? We had the opportunity uh, recently to actually use virtual reality technology around the space station, which is quite incredible. Uh, you can use view procedures, for example, uh, have 3D mapping of the space station, have ground mission control being able to point things out to you. So that really has got a, a, a large potential for future operations, I think. To watch the full event, head over and follow the ISS Facebook page. This week, Vinicius tweeted the entire ISS is the size of a football field, but what is the size inside? Well, good timing on your question, as the total area inside just changed with our latest addition. With BEAM now expanded, the total pressurized volume inside station is 32,898 cubic feet. To give you an idea, that's roughly equal in size to the interior volume of a Boeing 747, one of the largest passenger aircraft ever produced. Plenty of room to stretch your legs. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.